Hello everyone. Recently, Turkish President Erdogan said there was no such thing as LGBT on Turkish national television. His interior minister referred to protesters as LGBT deviants on Twitter and in other interviews. Their hateful rhetoric is ramping up and we know how this will end. Soon, it will be illegal to be LGBTQ in Turkey and we must act now. To understand what is happening in Turkey, we first have to understand that although homosexuality has never been illegal in Turkey, it has never been widely accepted. Since Erdogan rose to power, freedoms that most LGBTQ people take for granted in the United States have slowly been eroding in Turkey. Pride celebrations have been banned since 2016. Because there are no discrimination protections, LGBTQ people in Turkey face harassment, discrimination, and violence from their co-workers, employers, the Turkish police, and even their own family members. This year, the situation has gotten exponentially worse. In January and February, there were protests at Boğaziçi University regarding an appointment of a high-ranking university official closely aligned with the government as the dean of one of Turkey's top universities. During these protests, police took exception to artwork that they deemed offensive to Islam and started primarily arresting LGBTQ activists. These protests lasted over a month and resulted in over 300 students and demonstrators being arrested. Then on March 6th, the Saturday before International Women's Day, there was a huge protest in Istanbul. During this demonstration, the police would not allow anyone to enter the area holding rainbow flags. Following a speech by a trans female activist, the police were prevented from arresting the trans woman by protesters who protected the woman and helped them into taxis. However, the police followed those taxis and eventually dragged the trans woman out of the cabs, arresting them. Six people in total were arrested that day. Two trans women are currently under house arrest. Now, the Turkish government feels emboldened enough to refer to LGBTQ people as deviants and Erdogan is denying our existence. We've seen this behavior before. It's straight out of the dictator's playbook. Former Iranian president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad stated, in Iran, we don't have homosexuals. And recently, the Iranian foreign minister defended his country's death penalty for homosexuality, calling it immoral. In Chechnya, we've seen what happens when their leaders believe that gay people don't exist in their region. They sanctioned extreme violence against LGBTQ people, resulting in imprisonment, torture, and sometimes death. We cannot allow this to happen in Turkey. We must bring attention to the situation before it is too late. The clock is ticking. LGBTQ rights are human rights. We demand that Twitter ban hate speech and delete the accounts of those in the Turkish government promoting hatred towards the LGBTQ community. By allowing these hateful lies to spread on Twitter, it encourages others to attack LGBTQ people without fear of consequences from the Turkish authorities. The philosopher Santayana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. We must heed these warning signs and act now before it's too late. The clock is ticking.